Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to be showing you how I did my passion twist. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did my hair three different ways. I won't be doing my full head on camera, but I will link down below the two videos I used to achieve these looks. So this first time, I did the individual crocheted passion twist. I used the rubber band method and it took me eight hours. I literally wanted to cry by the eighth hour. I was so tired of twisting and it was a little wet and heavy from all the gel I had to use. It came out looking fabulous, but took way too long. Take two, only two hours. This is my preferred method and this is how I did it. I will never do the individual twist again. The back is the passion twist that already come twisted and you just kind of crochet them through and loop them and pull them through and they're just done. The front, I did the individual twist where I twisted it myself. Okay, so this third time I decided to add a little bit of color. The only difference is I left a little out in the back so I would be able to put my hair up in a ponytail. So I sectioned my hair off using rubber bands. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna take all of these little pieces and I'm gonna put them in a ponytail and I'm gonna be cornrowing the rest of my hair. But I left a little bit out in the back because I want these to look like individual um, passion twists as well. <laughs> my hair may look like a hot mess right now, but this video really is to show you that you can do your hair yourself. Just keep watching. So I did a few individual twists in the back. See the first link in the description box to see how to do the individual crocheted passion twists. It's moose. So here I'm just getting this hair out of the way so I can get ready to crochet the pre-twisted passion twist in. And this is all my hair that I had from before. I was not throwing it out. They're pre-twisted passion twists. I just ran like some co-wash through it and I saved them. So now we're gonna crochet these in. So I'm gonna use these little clips to hold those two braids down while I crochet. Okay, so this is the back. This is all crocheted. See the second link in the description box for this method. And because I did these individuals, I can put it up in a ponytail. I don't know how that looks, but looking like now. I have to do three more. All done. I love the way this came out. I love the color and I love how easy it was. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, don't forget to check the description box down below to see exactly how I achieved all of these looks. And Happy New Year. This is my first video of the year. I hope 2021 is your year. May it find you in good health and good spirits.